So welcome back class 6 and today we are going to understand exercise 2.1 of mathematics as in our previous video we have understood about natural numbers, uh, whole number, whole numbers, predecessor and successor and uh, like uh, some other questions like which one is the smallest whole number, uh, uh, name the whole number or what is that whole number whose predecessor is not possible like this okay. So let us start exercise 2.1 question number 1 it says write the three write the next three natural number after 10999 so we have to write down three next uh, three natural number after 10999 as you know if we will move if you want to write the next natural number we will have to add one in the given number so first number will be like here if I will solve this will be 10999 next number will be we will get by adding 1 in this number so what will be that number let's see 9 plus 1 10 0 carry 1 0 carry 1 0 carry 1 1 10999 and this, this will be 11,000 so next number will be 11,000 Next one more, if we will add 1 in this, it will become 11,001, then next will be 11,002, understood? So these are the three next natural number after 10,999. Now let's see question number 2, it says write the three whole numbers occurring just before 10,001. 10,001 as you can see if I have to find out number just occurring before before means less than this or smaller than this 10,001 what uh, three numbers we have to write down okay what we will do they are like in the previous question in the first first question we have to write down the next three numbers so what we did we add the numbers we add one in the given number and here we have to write down the number just occurs before occurs before it means what we will do we will subtract one from the given number so that we will get our first number as you can see here if you don't know you can write it here as 0 0 0 so this will be 0 0 minus 0 0 0 0 and this will be 1 minus 0 1 so what it will be 10,000 understood so just before that will be 10,000 before this 9999 getting or not and one more 9998 this can you can also do it orally if you know the counting understood okay now let's see the question number three this I have written this in the form of a note which is the smallest roll number tell me the tell me fast the correct answer is zero zero is the smallest whole number at the same time I can ask you what is the smallest natural number the smallest natural number then the answer is one one is the smallest natural number understood okay okay now let's see um, question number four question number four is also 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 i should say it is most 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 important and most of you are going to commit mistake while solving this question just because of a little bit careless so let's see question number four the question number four is asking how many numbers are there between 32 and 53 and most of the student will be thinking that they uh, are going to give answer by this 32 and 53 they must be going by this process and then they were about to say sir there are 21 numbers isn't it what do you say this answer is correct or not tell me fast is this answer is correct or not okay this is absolutely wrong why why is there any problem in subtraction no subtraction is correct but even then our answer is not correct what can be the problem let us try to find out okay if i will ask you how many numbers how many numbers 
are between four and ten. Four and ten. So what will be your answer? Okay, let's see. If we will go by normal subtraction, then it will be six, isn't it? Okay, let's see. Let me write here four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we have to find out how many numbers are between between. So we will eliminate these two number. We have to find out how many numbers are between four and ten. One, two, three, four, five. How many numbers are there total? Five. But the subtraction is showing six. Why? Why? Because if we are subtracting ten from four, it means we are it means we are not eliminating four. Getting it? Getting or not? We are not eliminating four. So if you want to go by direct subtraction, you will what you will have to do by subtracting the numbers. Who's uh, between whose you have to find out the given numbers? What you will do? You will also subtract one from the answer, and then you will find out the correct answer. Understood? Understood? So similarly, here we have to find out how many numbers are there between thirty-two and fifty-three. So let me write here numbers between thirty-two and fifty-three. Is equals to is given by or is equals to fifty three minus thirty two minus one. So this will be equals to twenty one. If we will subtract these two, it will be twenty one minus one. So the answer is twenty. So twenty numbers are there between thirty two and fifty three. Understood? This you have to keep in your mind. Otherwise, uh, might be an examination. You could commit a mistake. Okay. Okay, now let's see the next question. Question number five. Write the successor of, and the a part is whatever is the given. Successor of. Twenty-four lakh forty thousand seven hundred one. Successor of twenty-four lakh forty thousand seven hundred and one. Is it given? Hmm. So, successor of any number is given by plus one in that number. So this will be twenty four lakh forty thousand seven hundred and two. Understood? Understood? Getting or not? I have uh, done this in the form of form of notes in the previous video that if you have to find out the successor, what you will do? You will add one in that number and you will be able to find out the successor of that number. Understood? Okay. Similarly, B part, C part, D part. You will, uh, you can solve yourself. So this is just for <coughs> help, helping you that how to write. Now question number six is same. Here in this question, we have to write down the predecessor, and we have to write down the predecessor in the A part. Predecessor of ninety four. So here we are writing predecessor of ninety four is given by ninety four minus one. That is. Ninety-three, understood, understood. Okay, so remaining three parts you will do yourself, understood. Okay, so let me raise this. Now let's see question number five. It says in each of the following pairs of number. pairs of numbers straight which whole number is on the left of the other number on the number line also write them with the appropriate sign okay let's see what we have given <coughs> no no um This is question number seven. Okay. Look, what happens in number line? Suppose this is a number line, and here it is the number ten. Here is nine, eight, seven, six, five, and somewhere it will be zero. So, if I will ask you, 
that among two among a pair and the pair is 5 and 7 you have to tell which number lie on the left so simply on the number line we can see the number which will be smaller that will lie on the left side of the greater number so here 5 we, how we will write 5 lies on the left of 7 and and also we have to put the sign of this kind of sign they, these signs are known as sign of inequality what we will say sign of i'm mentioning here you have to keep this in your mind these are signs of inequality inequality means it will tell that these are not equal one quantity will be greater one will be smaller okay so here how we will write 5 is less than 7 understood understood okay so let's come directly to the question a part we have to give the answer by observing 530 and 503 as you can understand clearly 503 is smaller than 530 so 503 lies on the left of 530 getting or not and we also have to represent this with the sign of inequality so 503 is less than 530 in this manner we will give our answer understood okay so i am only taking the first part remaining parts you will take yourself understood understood beta okay now let's see question number eight that is in the form of true and false and most of the things we have understood previously so this is part number question number eight this was question number seven a part i have done remaining you will do yourself and question number eight a part that is in the form of true false it is saying zero is the smallest natural number false false and wherever it is required we will also give the we will also correct the statement so the correct statement will be one is the smallest whole sorry natural number one is the smallest natural number understood so this will be very beneficial for us if you will mention the answer like this b is 400 is the predecessor of 399 it is asking 400 is the predecessor look think about yourself there are two number 399 and 400 the question is saying 400 is the 400 is the as you can see 400 will be written on the right of 399 so 400 will be successor understood so this statement is false so b is also false and what will be the correct statement 400 is the successor uh, what was given in the question hmm it was talking about predecessor 400 is the successor of 399 so in this way we will uh, be giving the answer let's see c part zero is the smallest whole number what do you say is it correct yes it is correct so here we will write that true and if it is true so no need to give any kind of statement zero is the smallest whole number we have understood this uh, now next part d part 600 is the successor of 599 so here i am writing d part it says 600 is the successor of 599 600 will lie on the right of 599 it means this is correct so true again no need to write down any kind of statement for supporting because this is a universal fact this is obvious truth then e part all natural numbers are whole number this i have told you earlier when i was telling you the definition this is also true all the natural numbers are whole numbers uh, let me write here why uh, all the uh, what it was hmm. true as as we are giving the reason whole numbers are
कंसिस्ट ऑफ कंसिस्ट ऑफ मीन्स कंप्राइज ऑफ मतलब मीन्स से मिलकर बने हुए होते हैं होल नंबर्स किन से मिलकर बने हुए होते हैं होल नंबर्स आर कंसिस्ट ऑफ ज़ीरो एंड ऑल नेचुरल नंबर्स अंडरस्टूड सो दिस इज द रीज़न और लेट्स सी एफ पार्ट ऑल होल नंबर्स आर नेचुरल नंबर इट इज सेइंग इट इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द इट इज सेइंग ऑल नेचुरल नंबर्स आर ऑल होल नंबर्स आर नेचुरल नंबर दिस इज एब्सोलूटली फॉल्स व्हाई फॉल्स इट इज सेइंग ऑल द होल नंबर्स वेयर एज जीरो इज द होल नंबर विच इज नॉट अ नेचुरल नंबर वी हैव सीन दिस नेचुरल नंबर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन सो जीरो इज द होल नंबर विच इज not a natural number understood so this is the reason if uh, this kind of question will come in exam you will also give the answer in this way okay now let's see the next part mm, the predecessor of a two digit number is never a single digit number okay it is saying if there is a two digit number then its predecessor can never be a single digit number okay think about uh, The smallest two digit number that will be 10 i have told you how to make this and what will be its predecessor its predecessor will be 9 so the question was saying that the predecessor of two digit number can never be a one digit can never be a single digit number here we are saying that it is possible so this is, the statement is false and what we will give in support as predecessor of 10 which is the smallest two digit number is 9 that is single digit number understood understood okay now h part uh, i should write here it is saying one is the smallest whole number again absolutely wrong as you know it very well that the smallest whole number is zero so here we will write down false zero is the smallest whole number understood so this will be our answer now let's see next part h what is the smallest whole number oh, uh, which part i solved okay h i have solved i part the natural number one has no predecessor now listen carefully this statement is correct this statement is correct because it is saying the natural number one if it would have been the whole number one has no predecessor then it would be wrong because if we are talking in whole number then there is a also a smaller whole number uh, than one that is zero but the question is saying the natural number one has no predecessor and as you can see if i will take one as a natural number only then there is no smaller natural number than one so this statement is correct understood आज ट्रू वट वुड बी अवर रीजन बिकॉज वन इज द स्मॉलेस्ट नेचुरल नंबर अंडरस्टूड डिफरेंस वन इज द स्मॉलेस्ट नेचुरल नंबर दैट इज वाई लेट सी जे पार्ट now this i have told you in i part it is saying the whole number one has no predecessor if uh, we are talking about whole number then there is also a smaller whole number that is zero so this is false because the predecessor of whole number one is zero understood now let's see k part it is asking the whole number 13 lies between 11 and 12 and you can understand it very well that 13 neither lie between uh, the 13 lie on the right of 11 and 12 on the right 
side of the 11 and 12 so i think okay, a little bit of space is there let me try to write here this is absolutely false and what will be the correct statement 13 lies on the right of 11 and 12 understood so this will be the correct statement now see the l l part the whole number 0 has no predecessor what do you think this will be right or wrong the answer is it is absolutely correct this is absolutely true why why because 0 is the smallest whole number 0 is the smallest whole number <clears throat> the last part the successor of a two digit number is always a two digit number this i am just giving a little bit hint for this it is saying successor of any two digit number what we will do we will think about the smallest two digit number and then we will take the greatest two digit number that will be 99 okay now just think about the successor the successor of this will be 11 and this will be 100 now you can decide yourself that the given statement is true or false okay so last part it is up to you you will solve yourself you will write down the answer you will explain with the uh, with a statement or an example to support your answer and one more thing i'm going to ask you one question whatever you think the answer will be of this question you will write this in comment section understood okay and the question is what is the greatest what is the greatest whole number this is the question for all of you listen carefully what is the greatest whole number you have to give the answer whatever you think in the comment section understood okay so this is uh, that's all for today this we have solved exercise 2.1 and in the next video we will be understanding properties of whole numbers that are very 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 important for our next classes like 6 7 8 9 10 properties are very important so i hope no one will miss that video okay so that's all for today till then goodbye have a nice day and jai hind